we're at Ohio University uh, in Athens, uh, Ohio, and there's a challenge going on, an engineering challenge. Can you tell me what the name of the uh, program is here? Uh, this is ASME's Human Powered Vehicle Challenge. Tell me your name. I'm Josh Everhard. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Ohio, uh, Akron area. And this is the University of Akron, the ZIPS. Yes, it is. So. That you're representing. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you know about this machine. Um, I know that we made the frame out of aluminum. It's one of the lighter frames you'll see at competition. And then the body of it is made, the ribs are made out of carbon fiber, and then we have a plastic sheeting in between it. Uh, total weight is just over 50 pounds. And then this particular bike, our innovation that we put on it is a rollover sensing system. So when you're getting close, when you're turning real hard, it'll warn you before you roll it over. So you ease up before you go. Yep. That's, that's kind of cool. Now, how long did it take to uh, come up with this concept and, uh, and build this machine? We start almost as soon as everyone gets back from summer vacation, and it ends right at the end of the year. So it's about eight months overall. And then tell me about what this competition, uh, how, the setup of this competition. So you have, after you come, you have to uh, display this in front of some judges. What do you have to do? So, well, before the competition, we add, uh, we write a report, and the report goes to the judges, and they, they read how we designed the bike, what our thoughts went into it, how we tested it for safety, um, the innovation that we put in it. So a lot of factors go into the actual bike itself. Once we get to competition, we get safety checked, just to make sure that if something were to happen, no one hurts themselves. And then the Saturday, so that's Friday safety check, Saturday is going to be drag races all day, and then Sunday will be an endurance race, which is just two and a half hours to see how the bike holds up. Awesome. So you're proud of this. It's uh, something that represents you, and uh, tell me, is it fun? It's awesome. It's so much fun to get on these and ride around. I wasn't really, I had never ridden a recumbent bike before I joined the team, and it's so much fun. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tell me who you are and what school you represent. Uh, I'm Chris Allenstein, uh, representing Ohio Northern University. We're the Polar Bears from Ada, Ohio. Um, this is our human powered vehicle for the 2016 competition year. Okay, and we're here at Ohio University for the competition. Tell me a little bit about uh, how this uh, bike got designed and uh, what was the genesis of all this. Um, well, this is a tadpole trike, so it has two wheels up front, one in the back. Um, in the past, we've also made trikes, but we, what we went for this year was kind of getting a, veal, a vehicle that uh, handles better. We went through the whole vehicle dynamics uh, analysis, did the whole deal, so it brakes well, it turns well. Um, we added some aero elements to it as well to try and make it easier to pedal at high speeds, kind of go with that. One really interesting thing, thing that we did this year for our innovation is we have a steering system which uh, automatically varies the steering ratio as we go faster. Where is the steering on this? So it's under the rider, so we've got handlebars beneath here, underneath the seat. Um, we got linkages going out to the front, tied to the front wheels. Um, and we have linear actuators which changes the length of one of our linkages. So as we speed up, uh, we have a programmer or a uh, Arduino board which does uh, some thinking and adjusts our length. Awesome. So what do you think your chances are in the competition this year? Um, typically we do okay. We're just going to try and get out there and keep moving. Sounds great. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. No SPD clips or anything? You just do toe clips, huh? Yep. Just toe clips on the sneakers, yeah. Is that rules or? No, no I just tell you prefer to do it. Because if you're using if you're using cleats, you gotta either have a bunch of them or buy it. Yeah. Let him get through. Here, yeah. flat balls, and the one that came with it is too small to get the
at noon, the men's event will begin. All right.